Hey guys, welcome back to the DNN Medical Series. This is your girl Nikki, and today I'll be telling you guys how to access OURVLE. So, this is just a website where you can access all your lectures and so on. So, if the lecturer come to teach and you don't have the lectures or you weren't at class, you can find all the lectures here. And also, if there are important dates for examinations, important notices that the lecturer wants to send, they all do it via OURVLE. So I'm using my phone today. You can use the same procedure on the laptop and so on. But I'm using my phone because it's a quick and easy video to just help you guys out. So hopefully nobody texts me to just interrupt this thing. So the first thing you got to do is... Just access your internet browser. I have Google Chrome here. Hopefully, I have no tabs open. Ah, uh, I think I did. Oh, I have this music thingy open because music is life, you know? Yeah. So, the next thing I gotta do is open a new tab here. I have a new tab open. And you're just gonna type in www. Oh, Lord. Here we have cheap flights because I'm always taking cheap flights. I can't afford the most expensive ones. I'm poor. And so it's www.ourvle.ue.mona. You can see it right there. And you just click that. Oh, that and the first one is the one that we gonna select here. Bam, and we just wait for it to load. Mm -hmm. And while I'm waiting for that, okay, so it's up and running. And here we have the course categories here. You can just see the variety of courses and faculties that you offer. So if you press medical sciences and so on, you can see the list of things and departments that they have and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so to log in, you press this little button here with these three horizontal. Yeah, I think that's horizontal because vertical should be up. Oh, Lord. Don't quote me, guys. But I think this is horizontal. So, I click this square thingy with these three horizontal lines. And then, it's going to ask you to enter your username and your password. So, your username is your ID number. So I'm just going to type in my ID number right there. It's a 6200 thingy that you get on your ID. Yeah. And your password, it's usually um your date of birth, the year, the month, then the date. So it's usually if you were born 1999, so it could be 1999, you were born in November. 11 and you were born on the 24th you put in the 24th so it's like that it's usually year month date but also if you go to mits and your id not id your password gets changed or you change it to a personalized one you can just type it in just like that and just press login so your username is your id number on your id and your password is usually your date of birth in the year month date or a randomly generated pin by mitts or your personalized one if you go to mitts to get it changed then the next thing you gotta do is just press login As we wait for that to log in here, they're telling me that my password is expired. So I probably need to contact Mix so they can just generate a new one for me. So I'm just going to press continue. So you can see my name. Your name is supposed to come up right there. So that's Nikisha. And you can see a, sm a small photo icon right there. So if you personalize your page, you can add your photos and so on. And I'm just going to press this small arrow beside my name going down. You can see that right there. And you see the bunch of things that all you are really offers. So you see my courses, view profile, edit your profile, your private files, the calendar for you, or you can log out. 
So I'm just going to jump into my courses. So in my courses, you will see all the courses that you're registered for. So because I did this before the school year was back, I my courses are not online or not on or you are really yet. So as soon as I am fully registered and the school year begins, all my six courses will pop up and I can just press each of them and just look at the lectures or any information about quizzes and dates and calendars that the lectures offer. So here I just have some information and so on. And that's basically it for OURVLE. And when you're finished, you can just go back to the three little icon that I have there. Press the arrow going down beside your name and just click log out. And do you really want to log out? Yes, I want to log out. That's why I press log out. Hello. Yes, so that's it. And you just press continue and you're out and you can see the general courses again so that's basically it for using OURVLE I hope you guys understand if you have any more comments or questions about using OURVLE I'm here just drop those questions in the comment sections below and yeah guys thank you for watching see you next time bye